From WSMV-TV Channel 4, this is More at Midday. Plus, many folks are hitting the gym, trying to lose weight before summer. And today, we're learning about the importance of refueling after your workout. We're talking with a fitness expert on what you need to do post-workout. Tips for refueling to help your muscles coming up. And still ahead, are you hitting the gym extra hard to look good for summer? Well, coming up, what else you should be doing while you're burning those calories? And welcome back to more at midday. With swimsuit season fast approaching, you may be hitting the gym extra hard to look good for summer, but those extra hard workouts call for more care for your body. Fitness expert Amy Cotta is joining us to talk about the importance of refueling your body. Amy, welcome to midday. Thanks for having me. Okay. Well, it's, it is a pleasure. We're glad to have you. Let's talk about refueling. What is that exactly? What do you mean? That's replen replenishing your body of everything that you lost during exercise. A lot of people will go and make sure that they eat properly and they hydrate before exercising or f before competing, but they forget about the post-recovery. And post-recovery is just as important, if not more important, mm. than your, your preparation for exercise or an athletic event. Because if you think about it, if you're going to go back to the gym or if you're going to go back and compete again, your post-recovery is your pre-recovery. <laughs> And um, everything that you've done up to that point while you're exercising or you're competing, whether it's basketball, soccer, hockey, whatever the case may be, you're breaking down your muscles. You're also losing electrolytes. As you're sweating, you know, a lot of times we think, oh, well, sweat's just water, you know, but it's not. It's vitamins and minerals and it's potassium and it's sodium. And all those things need to go back into your body. And a lot of people will drink water, which is fabulous. Your body needs water. But as you're putting that water back into your body, you're actually flushing out rest of those electrolytes if you're not replenishing them. So you could actually be doing your body more harm than good. Wow. Isn't that ironic when you hear something like that? That's interesting. Everything okay. about fitness is a fine line. <laughs> All right. This is something else I think you're going to find interesting. Chocolate milk. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't put that with trying to have a healthy workout, but that's I, part of this post-refueling situation, Yes. And right? I know you're probably sitting at home going, well, chocolate milk, <laughs> scratching your head, just like... I mean, it sounds good to me. Just like most of us did. <laughs> but there has been just tons of recent research that shows chocolate Chocolate milk is actually the perfect recovery um, tool for your body because everything that's in it, you've got protein, you've got carbohydrates, you actually have naturally occurring electrolytes in there. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's nature's perfect source of protein. And yes, you do need protein after you exercise or have a bout of athletics because you're breaking down muscle tissue. And there's a new product out on the market um, called Rocking Refuel by Shamrock Farms and it has 40% more protein in it than regular milk. Really? Wow. Well, I know you can drink regular chocolate milk is fine as well, but this yes. one actually is like a souped up. Yes, this is, uh, this is a souped up version of chocolate <laughs> milk. Um, it has 20 grams of protein in it, so it actually has 40% more protein than your normal chocolate milk. So it really is um, for post-recovery. Now, this is something that you, because you're a trainer, yes. but you, along with several other ladies, have really been using this. You say it's made a huge difference. Yes. You all are headed to Vegas. Vegas. Tell us about this. <laughs> what is it? It's an all-female triathlon. It is. It's called the Iron Girl, and it's an all-female triathlon. And, um, you know, we have 12 women on our team. Last year, there was only three of us. And... Um, we are using it to get women up and off the couch and to believe in themselves to do something they never dreamed that they would do. A lot of the women have never sw swim. Like I was not a swimmer when I first started, petrified of the water. And I learned how to swim. Some of them have learned how to bike. Some of them have learned how to run. Some have learned how to do all three. But we're doing it for a very worthy cause because we're raising money for the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Oh, that is so wonderful. Real quickly, big hoop it up tournament Woo, hoop it this up. weekend. Yes. Tell us about that. Um, Shamrock Farms Rock and Refuel is one of the major sponsors there this weekend. And um, there's $10 donations going to the American Cancer Society um, for everybody that competes there. And it's going through the Coaches versus Cancer, which is a very great mm -hmm. um, program. And we're going to be actually giving out 
um, some of the rock and refuel so you can try it. I will also be there on hand to answer questions, no matter if it's nutrition, if it has to do with triathlons, stretching, whatever the case may be. You've got them covered. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Focusing on refueling today. Amy, good to see you. Thank you. If you would like some more fitness tips from Amy, just head on out to the Rock and Refuel Hoop It Up Tour this weekend. It's at LP Field. And just ahead, how well do you know your manners?